The Central Bobcats advance to the area round to face Hazlitt Eaton, or whatever the heck you want to call them. They go by eight different names out of northern Fort Worth, but they would have to do it again without their starting quarterback, Malachi Brown. Malachi would have to miss due to a medical emergency. Tyler Hill would take over. He's been playing receiver all year, but early as a quarterback, he takes it on the keeper and is eventually shoved out of bounds. But into Eagles territory, Central would go into the red zone. However, that possession ended with an Eaton interception. Eagles would then march down the field. Braden St. Ama keeps it, and he's in for the touchdown. And Eden, Eaton, excuse me, will take a 16 to nothing lead. Central would try to get something going before the half. Hill on the keeper again. This time, he gets into the end zone, 13 yards. Cats are still down 16 to seven. Under two minutes to play in the first half, St. Ama is going to find a wide open Jabez Hawkins. And Hawkins puts the brakes on and is pushed out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. And Eaton's offense continues to work. QB sneak caps off the drive. Third touchdown of the half. Eagles are up 23 to 7. They go to end Central season 40 to 16. The final score from Abilene. Here's Brent Davis following the game. We didn't put the points up we normally do, but I mean, you know, the situation we're in is, is was the situation we're in. So I thought Tyler played wonderful. You know, it's first time to really play against a really good football team. And no reps, you know, in practice, and woke up this morning finding out that, that this is what we were going to do. And so I thought he did wonderful. You know, I think it's the, he showed that he's going to have flashes, and you know, he's going to be our guy the next two years. So we're excited. Just feel bad for him. You know, I know he wanted to be here. He deserved to be here. He's a leader of this football team.